Hi, I'm Victoria Gorman. And I'm Lindsay O'Neill, and this is The, the Healthy, Healthy Dish. Dish. Welcome to our next episode. We are doing ole all day because Mexican food is a love that Vicki and I share. We love Mexican food. We could eat it all day, every day. <laughs> and so we're hellifying it up today with a couple of awesome recipes. You want to talk about what you're going to be making? I am. You can find all our recipes on our website at That's the right. Healthy Dish TV. Um, I and follow us to... on Instagram too. Yes. At the Healthy Dish TV. Um, so I'm going to start with some uh, some grilled chicken. Awesome. Um, I'll make this, this hot, yeah, hotter for you. Turn that up for me. Um, I'm just going to use some, some like it hot. Healthy Dish salt. Okay, yes. Would you like um, the flake salt? Yes, I think I will do okay. that. Um, I'm going to start with a little bit of salt okay. and some pepper. Can I have some little black pepper? Yes, you may. And I have a pepper use, grinder. Yeah, give, give a nice dose of that. And then I'm going to use a little smoked paprika. Yummy, yummy. Um, and what are we going to turn this delicious We are going to slice into? this up and make lettuce wraps with this. Ah, I um, love a good lettuce wrap. Um, can I have a little drizzle olive oil on yes, that? Yes, you may. Please. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Thank you there so we much. Go. Okay, so I'm gonna get what it wish that was seared a little more, but yeah, well. we'll get that going. Um, and I'm gonna get the other side going as well. Okay. And what are you, you gonna be making today? Yes, please, I'm gonna do if you hit that again for me with pepper. You got it. So one thing I, I always love to eat whenever I go out for Mexican food, if I order it for delivery, or even if I'm making it at home, is I love to do stuffed peppers, but because I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Everybody does stuffed peppers. So we're gonna do something a little bit different today and we're gonna do a stuffed butternut squash. Just to amp up the, the nutritional profile. I love butternut squash. It's such a great vehicle. It's so pretty. It's gonna look so great. So I've actually, um, in a 400 degree oven, I sliced this butternut squash in half. I drizzled it with some olive oil, used some of our healthy dish salt, flake salt on here and some pepper. I put them flesh side down on a pan and I roasted them for about 20 minutes so that all the flesh is nice and, um, and pliable. And so when I stuff it with a Australian grass fed beef mixture with lots of yummy veggies, it's going to just come apart and get that umami flavor in every single This bite. is for my godfather, Uncle Louie, because he asked me for a stuffed pepper recipe, oh. so I'm gonna one-up you. Sorry, Uncle Louie. Um, <laughs> this will be even better. And so while we're getting this, um, starting this off, uh, we have to make a cocktail. Yes, That's what, what we are do. we drinking, so Vicki? We are going to make a margarita and we're gonna use yes. our healthy salt. So, Ooh, um, to rim the glass? To rim the glass. So, oh my God, um, love it. I have here, which I made um, at home, or, or it started at home last night. Um, it is just equal parts um, lime juice, uh, fresh lime juice, water, a little bit of uh, blue agave, natural, and um, some fresh jalapenos, mm, which yeah, these wow. smell very spicy, so I didn't go too crazy, but you want to let it marinate for a little while so it really gets in there for a spicy margarita. Do you use agave instead of a simple syrup? Yeah, it's better to use the agave, it's better for you. Simple syrup is, is great too if you're in a pinch, which simple syrup is simply equal parts sugar and water. You bring just like up to a boil mm -hmm. and let it sit to room temperature and then you have simple syrup because when I was much younger someone told me there was simple syrup in a recipe and I went all over trying to buy simple syrup you cannot buy it you have to make it <laughs> so there's a little heads up for you <laughs> just so you know and you um, can flavor simple syrup too you can throw like a lemon rind or something in there or I even like to put oh, some I rosemary like to, oh, in there oh yeah it's, that's the best yeah so um while you're telling everyone about our fabulous salt yes. I'm going to rim the just the half half of the glass so um, I, we always try to find the best products possible, and we want to use the highest quality ingredients in everything that we're cooking for you guys, especially, you know, because right now we're all trying to stay healthy and boost our immune systems and, and ward off illness, right? And so the salt that is out there typically is iodized, it's stripped of all of its minerals and nutrients that are natural to both sea salt and Himalayan salt. So we are bringing you our own healthy dish salt. You can actually purchase it on our website. Um, we have bundles, packages where you can buy a tin 
of the salt and then also because comes with a backup. salt is actually good for you. It is. It, it helps you to stay hydrated, which is a little bit of a misnomer. I know. Um, a lot of people think that salt dehydrates you, but there's also tons of delicious minerals and nutrients in salt. So just, by the way, I added our delicious um, finishing salt and I added to this a little cayenne pepper and I'm oh, just gonna spicy. do half the rim um, with that. And now I have a shaker full of ice, which we're gonna add the mixture in. So excited. And I'm gonna gild the lily with my favorite tequila. <laughs> if you can't tell. I don't think you have enough, Vicki. <laughs> you know this is for my birthday. Um, so we're gonna add, you would typically add two shots, but since we're gonna, since we're gonna drive home, we're gonna do <laughs> well, you could add the second shot for me. I'm not driving. <laughs> you want me to add the suit? Uh, no, no, no. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, I still have to be a parent. Take mine. <laughs> Throw it up in the air. Catch it. And shake it up. I'm going to actually... The magic of TV is a little watery. So you could also... Put some ice. I like, like blend I like this it. too, right? Yeah, you could make it frozen, but I like I, it over I the like, rocks. Yeah, I like it on the rocks myself. So I'm gonna put a little ice in the glass. Yummy. Very refreshing. Oh wait, I'm with my little fancy apparatus here. <coughs> mm. I got a little paprika. And then we're going to garnish with our more jalapeno. I now love you want to be careful if you're not using a, a glove or yes, don't touch your yeah, eyes. You don't want to touch anything and like if you <laughs> or anything we're gonna, else. We're gonna cook savory on this cutting board, mm -hmm. but if you weren't, you wouldn't want to slice an apple for your kids on that afterwards. No, <laughs> unless you don't that like your children. Be, yeah, exactly. That could go <laughs> awry. Which I love my kids, so I would never do that to them. My kids don't like spicy food. Do your well, kids like spicy yet. food? Yes, they all do. Yeah, mine are little, little. They don't. They, their palates haven't developed yet. All right, Vicky, you're killing me. I want to try this margarita. Oh, it's just too pretty. Mine. Oh my good gracious! Then, Look at there, that. Cheers. Woo! Cheers. Oh, it's like my. jumping into a refreshing swimming pool. Mmm. Oh, lay. Oh my God, that's really good. That is delicious. Wow. I like how you seem surprised. Mmm. <laughs> She is really a cocktail master, mixologist. That is really good. Victoria Gorman in the house. So, we are off to good things. Yes. Chicken is cooking. This is finally getting It's finally getting, getting cooking. So, and while you're yes. checking that out, I am going to get started with my stuffing. So, some cool things. I'm actually going to Can I pull this yeah, cutting can, board yeah, over to go here? Right ahead. All right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, I'm gonna grab my shun knives. We have uh, dueling shun yes. knives in this in this kitchen. So, whenever I make a stuffing, I want to get as much nutrients and as many um, different types of textures and flavors as I can into the pan. So, obviously, the first thing I want to start sauteing is some red onion. Um, a lot of people don't like red onion, but it is actually pretty good for you. Onion in general and garlic in general, sorry Vicki, <laughs> are, are good for you. Um, and I like the caramelization that I get on red onions a little bit better than I do on a Vidalia, but in Mexican food they use red onions I think more than they do um, Vidalia onions and then they use Spanish onions too. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to get these sliced up. And then I'm gonna slice up a zucchini and a squash. And then I have these power greens. So this is just a mix of different power greens that are really rich in nutrients. And in the pan, they're gonna get wilted, so it's not gonna be like too much stuffing. I'm gonna actually do a little. You gonna do some pepper? These, yeah, I'm oh. just gonna put them in to cook while the chicken's cooking. That's a good idea. So I, I always, when I teach kids how to cut um, onions, cause I'm not classically trained as a chef, um, just a culinary medicine chef. I teach them to cut the onion into rainbow slices like this, and then you just kind of turn them sideways. You want to prote always protect your fingers. I just that's a juicy onion. It just sprayed me. It did. 
and then you kind of just turn it over and you want to just make sure that you're protecting your fingers especially when you have little ones so i'm going to dump these onions i'm only going to use half so vicky if you want this other half um, of the onion yeah i would take that awesome sharing is caring i'm going to turn my my pan up too add a little bit of olive oil to the pan and then of course some salt which helps the onions cook down while I slice up my other items. Look at that. That looks like a fiesta in a bowl in a pan. A little tongue. Gracias. De nada. And so this might seem like a lot of squash, but all no. of the different squashes have different uh, nutritional profiles. So you want to eat the rainbow. We've talked about this in previous episodes, if you've been following along at home. And okay. the, the idea of eating the rainbow, look at that, it looks so pretty. It looks great. Yeah. It looks gorgeous. Is to try to get as many varying nutrients, but it's also for you moms out there, it's a great way to, to get your kids involved at a young age and eating lots of, trying lots and of different like foods. We like to eat the rainbow. We like to eat the rainbow keeps them away from just eating goldfish all day. <laughs> <laughs> this is fun. This is fun to do with your family. This is fun to do for, uh, you know, entertaining. We're really kind of showing you, you know, multiple ways to, to have and enjoy Mexican food. I'm going to slice this up and we're going to make lettuce wraps with this. And um, this is all gluten free too. All gluten free, but you could take this um, chicken and peppers and put this over a salad. Um, there's multiple ways to enjoy bowl. this. Yeah, anyway, you quinoa. Know, they, this is a meal in itself. Um, so I'm going to put the the meat in. I'm going to sneak behind yep. you and get the meat in here. Now that the onions have started to cook, typically I like the onions to cook a little bit more than this. Add a little salt and pepper. Okay. To my veg. But we need to get this meat cooking so that we can add all of the delicious veggies in here, and. I like my my spicy food. <laughs> Drink break. It's like lime. I love almost. it. So good. Okay, I'm kicking that up too. So, what are you going to do with the? Um, is it? Uh, um, oh, so I have. This is how I'm going to kick up the spices. Okay. I know. I already have my spice mix, which I typically make an Ayurvedic spice mix, as you yes. like. I, I think I use that term in almost every single episode. But I've added. This is how we learn. I this is how we learn. <laughs> um, by repetition. Yeah. But I've added a little bit of pumpkin pie spice to the mixture, if you want to give it a quick whiff. Ooh. It smells good, right? I put pumpkin pie spice in a lot of things myself. I Because I, I like the profile. It's if you're making a, a sweeter margarita, too, if you want to make like a, an orange margarita or something like that, oh, you can nice. use pumpkin pie spice with our yes, salt I did the like rim. I liked your idea for the um, blood orange margarita, but I was already on the lime train. Yeah. <laughs> I, like the, I like the jalapeno lime. I'm going to have a drink break now. So another thing with eating the rainbow that I like to do is see if I can get every Did single. Use this already? I don't think we need it. Okay. I think I try to get every single color of the rainbow in my diet every day. So even though we're cooking with chicken and we're cooking with with grass-fed beef, we're still eating plant-forward. It's not plant-based, but it's plant-forward. And if you try to eat the rainbow every day, the greater likelihood you will have of eating a plant-forward diet. Now, I, I have tried sometimes to make 100% vegan food, but I really do love me some cheese <laughs> and some grass-fed beef. So I have this here. I'm gonna rough chop the rest of the veg before I throw it in because I don't want big pieces. Yeah, I don't want big leaves in my teeth. I'll look like, what's his name from? <laughs> is that something in my teeth? <laughs> um, That's hot. What is that? It's Drew Carey, or uh, Jim Carey from, um, what's that movie? <laughs> it's gonna kill me. Too much, too much tequila makes my brain disappear. Um, but that chicken looks really good. Yeah. What did you, when you go to the butcher, what do yeah, you ask so for? So I went to, um, 
I went to Sunny's, of course, uh, Village Tiny nice. in, um, in East Quag. Mm -hmm. And I asked him, I told him I was going to use a grill pan. So he um, took the... Um, the boneless uh, chicken, and he butterflied it for me. Ooh. So that's why it was a nice. Nice and um, thin. Yeah, it wasn't too thin because I don't like it when it's too thin. Because um, then it's, you know, like rubbery for me, I feel. So I'm going to add a little bit of this chipotle pepper. It smells so good. Yes. I'm going to add some of this chipotle pepper uh, Dobie sauce. That, so you can see the pepper right in there, actually. Over here, over there. Um, I'm not going to use the pepper or else it might be a little too spicy. <laughs> well, we've already peppered ourselves yeah. a couple times today. But I'm just going to add a little bit of the sauce Pour to the mixture. There. there we go. And this is going to kick up the flavor profile as well as now, when you buy it, do you, are there it's levels? Is it like medium, high heat? Or like, are there choices? Or no? um, not with the uh, chipotle peppers. So the chipotle peppers in sauce typically come in a in a can in a jar, a can, a can, and you just take them out. I've actually made like chipotle pepper ketchup before to oh, put yum. on a slider. Yeah. You can even throw a couple pieces of cooked bacon from like breakfast into that. All right, so now we've got the base of our stuffing. Oh God, it smells so good. It does smell very good. So good. And I'm gonna add some of our veg in here to get that cooking up. Excuse me, my yep. love. Yep. Whoa, that was a good, good catch. catch. Reflex is like yeah. a cat. So I'm gonna add in the squash and the zucchini first and let that cook down a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna use all of it because it's a lot. And then once that cooks down, I'm gonna add the, can I help you? Thank you, darling. Yes, I need help. Emotional help, <laughs> <laughs> physical yeah, help. I'm here for you. Yes, you always are. And then I'm gonna add in the uh, super greens. So when you are looking for a lettuce to create a lettuce wrap, so what type of important. lettuce do you okay. usually? So I'm gonna grab this out of your way, baby. The, the most important thing is that you have something that will be a vessel to hold it. So you need butter lettuce that ha well, oh, you can make into this cup. Is that the hydroponic lettuce? This is yeah. I love that. They it comes in a little tin, but you know we're having a little trouble here with it. It comes. You see the. Um, it's so pretty. It's so pretty and it makes little cups, but it's getting a little wiltedy here in the, under the lights. But it makes these very nice little cups that you can wrap the, um, wrap your little, little the situation in. So he, this is really nice for everybody to be able to make their own, um, kind of, you know, serve your own. Yeah, keep it COVID friendly. Yeah, um, the kids really enjoy making their own uh, taco, um, and there's different ways to make these. I, I make them um, also not Mexican. I make them with um, a Thai peanut sauce, a spicy peanut mm. sauce. I Yum. make a chicken wrap with um, peanut sauce and um, like a pickled cucumber with shredded lettuce, Ooh. which is amazing. It's inspired by um, California <laughs> Kitchen. Their lettuce wraps, um, they are amazing. I make really? them at home. Yeah, when I find something I like, I have to make it myself at home because I want it. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how that goes. Well, Thai food and Mexican food are probably my two favorite. Indian, Thai, and Mexican are my three favorite types of food. And I try, I always try to make a good peanut sauce at home, but the store-bought is just so much better. It is. That's one of those things that you just have to, you know, wrap your... Bite the bullet brain and just... Around. Yeah. Yeah. Because <laughs> the consistency is hard to come by. Um, so one thing that we're not using in this, which is typically used in Mexican food, is cilantro. And... Oh, we left it out. Oh, oh, I a have A lot have. of people hate cilantro. Right. <laughs> There's actually an enzyme that you either have or you don't have that makes cilantro taste like soap or it makes it taste 
really delicious. I, t I love cilantro, but I'm not using it in this today. I, we could use a little bit of it if we wanted to. There's some. Um, cilantro is a cool herb because it actually helps to remove toxic metals from your digestive system and from, from your blood. So if you are a fish lover like I am, and you just don't want to have that high levels of mer mercury in your diet, you can A, take a break from <laughs> eating so much heavy mercury fish, but secondly, you can also um, eat some cilantro. So I'm just gonna let this cook, continue to cook down. It looks so, so good. All right, let me hang this up. And I love to put both cilantro and lime onto my chicken. Um, yeah, definitely. You always it in the serve this with a little wedge of lime um, to add a brightness at the end. Yep. Um, so instead of a salsa, I'm just going to put a little fresh tomato on each one. All right. And it's really, it's a pretty garnish too, cilantro. You can use parsley too, if you don't like cilantro. Yeah, you just really wanna have some freshness to it. And I'm not even gonna do my fancy chopping. I'm just gonna break up the- You're not gonna do the chiffonade? No, I'm not. Well, that's not for parsley or okay, oregano. Okay, that's okay. just for, uh, for basil <laughs> and, and mint. <laughs> it has to be a big leaf. I know. <laughs> Silly rabbit. I know. So I also have, we're gonna start plating up mine too. So we have these two delicious butternut squashes that we just roasted in the oven at 400 for about 20 minutes, uh, skin side down. And then I'm gonna take some of my grass-fed beef, chipotle pepper, Ayurvedic spice mixture with some zucchini, squash, and uh, red onion, as well as some of these super greens, which really help to add nutrition. I mean, this is, that looks look, at, look at these two plates. This is totally eating the rainbow right now. We just need purple. <laughs> well, they're the, the Oh, no, the purple, the red purple. onion. Yeah. yeah. So you just would scoop these up here. There's your little wrap. Mm-hmm. So I'm just going to take this and put it down right onto here. So you see how this is basically like a salad. So for lunch the next day. Delicious. You can just you know, in lieu of the lettuce wrap, make yourself a nice salad. I love it. You can make a wrap sandwich with this. And um, with your extra chicken or beef, right. you can make a taco bowl. You can put it on a there's, chip. Yeah, there's multiple ways to, to, and like I said, you can change the profile on the chicken with the seasoning very simply and make a different kind of lettuce wrap. Um, the, the, the whole idea is to have fun with it and to make it your own and to try new things. Yeah, and if you're if you're vegan or vegetarian, you can leave out the meat if you yeah. want. Um, um, and if you're kosher, leave off the cheese, but I'm gonna put a little bit of- Oh, uh, I forgot cheese. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there we go, I'll do a couple of cheese. <laughs> I'm gonna do one with cheese and I'll one do, with a little a bit cup. of cilantro on top for your, for your lovers. And if you really want to make this look even more gorgeous, you can take this plate Pop it in the oven. Pop and it in the oven and, and just broil just it real quick. a little bit. And melt all of this delicious cheese and make it all golden brown and bubbly. That's beautiful. It's so pretty, right? So I, I agree with you. That is a little more exciting than stuffed peppers. Stuffed peppers were on, uh, were on like, I want to say, like the weekly um, menu when I was a kid growing up. Oh, really? Yeah. My mom used to make them with... Um, I love stuffed peppers. With the ground beef and stuff. Mm. Yeah, that was... That was what like was your a, uncle's name? Uncle Louie. Uncle yes, Louie. Uncle Louie. So. Sorry, Uncle Louie. No, I, I think he would be excited by this. I made I this he would instead. enjoy this. And let me grab um, a little bit yeah. of this. Um, and we can make our plate look pretty. I know. And so this is enough food for probably like a whole person. No, I, I, I mean, that seems like a serving for two. Oh, like, I don't, well, I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Oh, that was me, of course. But these are also COVID friendly. So you can make one squash right. and for one and person would you use a butternut squash too like the the um, acorn squash acorn squash definitely and um one of my favorite tricks for an acorn squash i know this oh is yeah, like i know you majorly that, cutting quarters like. corners but I've, I've done it since then I, have you yeah of course so you wash the outside i watch your show 
Do you? <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, I feel so famous. <laughs> Vicky watches my show. And it's not just because you're on it, right? No, you learn things. To watch me. You learn things, yes. <laughs> but I puncture the skin of acorn squash and I actually put it on a microwave safe dish. I pop it in the microwave. It's amazing. For eight to 10 minutes, depending on how big it is. And then you let it cool first. Definitely let it cool or else you're going to singe all of the skin off your hands. I mean, I then, of course, put brown sugar on it and caramelize it well, in, she the, takes it in the, the oven. oven. That's yeah. like dessert. That's the way my kids like it, though. Like, I usually oh, bake it with butter and brown sugar on it, and they've eaten it since they were babies. Yum. But that's the way my, my mommy makes it, so that's the way I make it. Oh. Like, you don't, you don't really go too far from the original recipe. The OG. Like, everyone asks me where I learned to cook. It's really not too far off from what my mommy made. Yeah. <laughs> my so, mom's an amazing baker. I bet you she would love that. She could make it into, yeah, like, some absolutely. sort of cupcake or something. It almost, like, something. tastes like pie sometimes, yeah. I'm sure. So. Acorn squash. <laughs> and then you, you just scoop out the seeds and you can fill it with whatever stuffing you want to make. And I mean, get creative. Nothing here will leave you bloated. You have healthy salts that yes. would, that's good for you. Mm -hmm. And even the cocktail is like not naughty because there's no preservatives oh, it's not gonna in here. not going to make me bloated? Oh, no, fabulous. there's, no, okay, there's nothing that was, it's literally water, mm -hmm. lime juice, mm -hmm. good, good booze. We um, mm -hmm. love our Casamigos. Mm -hmm. So everything in here was healthy. Um, and we really enjoyed your company. Hope you enjoyed ours. And we'll see you next time on The Healthy, the dish. healthy dish. Cheers. Cheers.